What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. If this is the first time tuning in, please make sure you don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you've done that before the thumbs up. And welcome back to the VFX Masterclass course. So um today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to use Mocha um pro Mocha is actually a 12 party plugin that actually sometimes actually comes with after effect, but the pro version is not actually coming after effect. Sometimes you have to install that manually, which will also be leaving this tutorial for that uh, in the course. So I'm gonna be bringing a clip here. Um just bring in this clip footage so i'm going to be bringing this clip in like i use in one of the old tutorials <coughs> let's wait to this imports and then drag this down here it automatically creates a composition like i said in the beginning of this tutorial so i just want to track a few part of this i don't want to track the whole thing so probably i, I want it to stop here so i'm just going to press i can just um, uh, cut out this whole part by pressing alt and and cut uh, also in close bracket but i just want to show you something new so uh, i don't want to go through that i can just um, easily just bring this here by dragging it to this point or if i don't want to use that way i can just since the um, indicator is already i will just press end which means end and then i can just adjust it to end and it automatically fits to that frame okay so and then if you want to cut at from the left to right you can easily press b on the keyboard which is beginning but that's not what we're here for now so now i've gotten this part i just right click trim come to work area so now um basically i want to track the screen and then put something on this screen with mocha as you can see sorry let me take down this noise as you can see this um i basically do not like the way the clip is shaky so um, I'm just going to wrap stabilize this. This is not part of what I'm supposed to be doing, but let me just do this. Like I've actually showed you guys um, this stuff in other tutorials, so let me just do this. I'm going to be fast with this. Okay, now so it's done tracking. If I should play this now, you get a smooth um, screen. So the next thing I want to do now is to pre-compose this because this already has this um, wrap stabilizer effect here. So I'm just going to pre-compose this. And then select this second one, move all attributes into the new comp and then click OK. Now it turns brown. So the next thing you want to do is come over to your effects and presets. This is where all effect lies. You can actually, and there are actually two ways you can do this. You can also come over to this um, part where it says effect to get any of the effect you want. But this is actually a short and easy um, way for lazy people like me. And you guys are also trying to make it um, something fast. So I'm just going to type mocha, M-O-C-H-A. And this is Mocha Pro. There will be a link um, to download this. I'll also be showing a tutorial how to install this. This is an external plugin. Uh, this is especially this Mocha Pro. So the next thing you want to do is come over to this part and then click on Mocha. It says it's saying this because I set the resolution of this um, clip to low. So I'm, I need to increase this. As you can see it's already blurry, but now it's sharp. So it needs every part to be visible so you can easily track. Okay, this is okay. This is actually Mocha. You see Boris FX Mocha Pro 2020. This is actually 2020 version, but um, yeah, you can see how it looks like. So let me click start, and it's actually telling me to update this because it's actually an older version. So I'm I'm not gonna update this. I'll just close this. So now you see a lot of stuff here. These are basically similar to the ones from the After Effects uh, menu. Like you see this. This is the normal move to which is this, and this is the um, add to. Like if you actually use the pen to the plus signs to add more line and this is the hand tool that helps you move the screen this is the zoom let's you zoom in and zoom out and this is spline this helps you add tracking points and yeah so um by the way once to go uh, continue using okay you understand more about it so let's just start now so for us to start tracking this footage we need to place in our tracking marker which is why we have to select this which is the x spline uh you might be using an older version you might say b spline so we have to select this now i i can track i can choose to track this point or this point or this or this or this or this or this any of this point but i choose to track this one this plus sign since it looks somehow like the indicator so i'm going to select this and move over here and i see it follows it like a rope select this one come down here select this make sure the plus fits in the plus 
select this and then once you don't want your point you selected you right click and then it automatically leaves it but if you notice the points are not that straight you see this curve curve you might want to straighten this so you see this blue part here you can usually if you take this in it goes it brings in the curve more but if you take it out and it straightens it so i'm just going to straighten this one too and do the same thing for this and this last one so now the next thing you want to do is if you come down here you can see um it shows it t and then you see this means it's tracking forward and this means it's tracking backwards so it's just like the way we normally track in after effect so i'm just going to click for this to track forward and then it's going I'm waiting for it to track let's just wait for this to finish tracking and we'll see our results okay so it's done tracking you can see at some point the key point the tracker was actually going out of frame you can adjust that okay which is not a problem you can just use the select and then adjust it back to make sure it fits to that point if any of your tracking points are going out of point and just know that each time you actually do that it creates a new point where if you could see here you might not see well let me bring it to this middle and let me just try to make one change from it just look what happens um you see it's created a green point if i take like let me take this front again and then make another change you see another green marker so each time you make a change to the tracker it drops a keyframe on the timeline so um we're not actually doing that so um yeah so basically this is the track backward and this is the track forward so now how you can see it you can see the tracking point uh it's just there and it's looking good you might check if you want to check you can show grid to show to see your tracking point how stable it is you can see the grid is just balanced on the screen and yeah have a smooth track point so now the next thing we want to do is I have to save this click which is here you can easily just press ctrl s or just press um save yeah so now um you can see everything is actually turned on the transition scale rotation um skew this is um, basically you can see the sign this is when you're actually tracking an object and then it's rotating this is when you're actually tracking an object and then maybe it's coming closer to the screen or it's going away from the screen which makes it bigger or small and this is transition maybe it's changing from one point to another in this perspective it depends on when you can see the, the way it's designed shows let's say it's a little bit slanted let's say you want to track something that is like um slanted like this game like this glass here you can see it's facing that way so this is when you turn on this perspective but since it's actually straight we are going to use this normal uh, ones no need for the perspective okay so now the next thing we need to do since we already got our tracking point it's come over to export data which is this click on this and then it, uh, in particular drop down menu you can see a lot of options here so the one we're going to be using this is this one after effect transform data position and scale orientation because we actually need the position and so it's still moving so we'll click on this and then click copy to clipboard so now we can easily just close this it's already saved so now you can see okay how oh, nothing's happening it looks like nothing's happening right so the next thing you want to do is come over to this environment or anywhere around here just right click new and then solid click ok now it's all black it doesn't matter the color the next thing you want to do is um, press ctrl v on your keyboard to paste that tracking data you can easily just um, if you don't want to use that let me undo this you can easily just come over to edit and then um, paste it's still the same thing it's a shortcut so if i should play this now you can see the black screen is just there on it it's just sync to it because it's actually tracked to it so now if you want to check if this is really good come over to your effect type grid so put place this grid on top so you can actually see it you see how it goes now you see that so now basically we want to attach an object to this let's say we want to put a logo to this still so let me drag in a logo from um let me bring in a logo from one of my files so here we go so i have two stuff here i just brought in a logo and a video so let me just start off with the logo first now all i just have to do is drag in the logo here now uh, everything looks so jam packed so what i have to do you see the track layer which is where we pasted this stuff and mind you when you're pasting this um um stuff the copy track data make sure it's always at the beginning because the keyframe needs to go at the beginning it's the beginning where you start tracking when that's where you paste the 
tracking points which we already copied from mocha so that everything goes out well okay don't make that mistake you know if you, if you come over to this part and say okay i'll paste it here this is where all the tracking points will start from and it will not sync with the what you tracked so now i'll have to turn off this layer so now this this uh, layer now it represents a null which is the it's like a pin point so i'm just going to scale this down a little bit this logo which is at the top because i want it to be here now if i split this now this is what you get it see it's not sinking it's just going away from the screen but now watch what happens so now i'm going to link this to this uh, um this stuff here and then now if i play it now you can see it just stick to the screen like it's actually there that's what the mocha can do it can easily fix your tracking stuff so now now i want to try this i want to try this for a video that's a still image now this is a video so let me scale this down a little bit so it fits the screen um let me make this a 3d um layer so basically yeah i'm not trying to do something perfect i just want to make it look a little bit more sorry to look make it look more realistic to fit the screen slide and let me extend this end a little bit let me just leave it this way it's not actually good if i want to spend more time on this i can make it look really good but just for the sake of tutorial i'm just showing you guys so let me link this now to the no first of all let me let me play this so you guys can see it. if i play this you can see it's not sticking to the screen right but now if i should come back here now and then link this to the track where we're uh, pasting the track data and play this you can see we have this now it's just looking as if it's on the screen like this is really amazing okay that's actually a 3d logo i did though so as you can see that's really really cool so that's um how to use mocha to track there are a lot of stuff you can do with mocha for but for now we're just going to be showing you guys how to track with mocha so now i'm going to be taking you guys back into mocha there's still some things i need to show you guys so you guys could actually know about this um mocha so the actually um for this uh, i'm just gonna say this is the timeline of the mocha so let's say um let's say you got a full clip because when i actually started i actually trimmed the clip let's say you don't want to track the whole scene you don't want to track the whole thing let me say you just want to track on this whole part if you could look closely to this part you can see this red line here if i don't want to track this whole scene i can manually just drag this you can see to this part it also appears at the end i can also just manually just drag this this whole part and then wow you can see basically i can just easily track here and when you finish tracking you can see the same thing copy the tracking data and then when you want to paste it you also do the same thing make sure you paste it always at let's say you finish doing what you're doing you want to paste your tracking data always paste it at the beginning because if you don't paste it at the beginning, it's gonna it's gonna unsync your work. It's not gonna look good because now you actually track a halfway. So you'll be wondering how should I paste it at from halfway here? No, no, no. All you have to do is to come to the beginning and then paste it. After Effect and Mocha know how to do their work, they're going to merge everything for you together. So that's it for Mocha and how to track with Mocha. Um, basically, the tracking points can also be used as mark uh, max parts. So let me just show you one last thing you can do. You know we actually track the screen, right? We track those four points basically um if you should come over to this math and then you come over to create ae ma uh, max this actually create a max with the track points which you've created so if i should click this now you, you can see it's just this uh, four points we've selected that's actually showing now this is actually a max path thing if i should press m on my keyboard on the layer we should drop it you can see that it has max path you can also manually adjust this um max path so now i'm going to change this to subtract so now you can see there's a box in the middle of the screen you can see that so basically i could just um turn on my logo uh sorry i could just turn on my logo and then uh, my logo is already black so let me know let me use that let me use the screen i so i can turn on the screen and then scale it down um scale it down it fit like as if it's there another trick is that if i don't want to use that way i can just place it underneath the video layer and then it, it sits there it's as if it's actually inside the screen you can see how it looks now 
it looks like as if it's inside the screen so basically that's another trick you can also do with mocha yeah so that's it for mocha guys um we'll be moving on to the next phase and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel as we for more thank you